Hey folks, this is A Automotive Reviews. First of all, I want to say thank you guys for listening. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for sharing. And today we got here is an experience in the 2021 Ford Bronco. And this is by a journalist who was given the opportunity to take a ride alone. They rode shotgun in the blue oval Jeep fighter. Now what they would do is they would like to think of this as fun water a drip test. Now Ford teased the world for years with premises of return of the Bronco. And when the automaker was finally poised to show it, a global pandemic ranked shop on the plans. Adjustments were made, and finally on July 13th, 2021, the Ford Bronco made its virtual global debut, along with the more urban 2021 Ford Bronco Sport. And in three weeks, more than 165,000 people put down a $100 deposit to get a two or a four door Bronco when it goes on sale next year. Now let's get back to the water test. And the world is ringing with anticipation to drive the new Bronco family and Ford knows it so the automakers gather together and organize a Bronco Day on August the 11th the SUV 55th birthday of a new off-road park outside of Detroit Motor City now small groups of media were invited to hop into a handful of prototypes on hand for the occasion two Kavits no pictures of the interior the 2021 bronco were all pre-production vehicles and they need to spit and polish it before it goes on sale and it was disappointing that no driving these prototypes they everybody had to be passengers There were only passengers allowed on this road. No one else. So, the dynamic engineers and others who have worked and lived with these vehicles for years sat behind the wheel. It means that. It means at this time they can't give the readers the uh, true impressions of this drive. And I'm just here to talk about the experience. And I'm gonna, we're going to give you a sense of the, what the Bronco capabilities can be in the hands of experienced drivers. Who know how to coax the best out of the vehicle. Kind of like doing a hot lap with a car test driver the guy that set the course record and can push the car to his limits and that's the limits that regular people will never be able to reach because they're not afraid to mess things up now the new state of the uh, off-road park in Holly, Michigan is no Moab or Rubicon but there's a variety of trails some steep hills fine silty sand rock beds and water hazards in other words a decent test of the capabilities for a first test of vehicles now the first test came in a two-door Bronco Outer Banks which basically means 
It was a fancier interior compared to the lesser Broncos. The trim level comes with body color door handles, fender flares, and mirror caps, LED headlights and taillights, and even tube steps to help get in. But the Bronco is quite easy to hop into in almost any form. Creature comforts with this trim level include heated cloth bucket seats up front or you can opt for the leather interior. More importantly, the Bronco Banks was equipped with that Sasquatch package that we all know and love, which means 17 inch beat like compatible wheels wrapped in 35 inch mud tires, an electromechanical transfer case, locking front and rear axle, larger fender flares, additional suspension clearance, and heavy duty Bilston shocks. And this right here, just some of the picture folks, just sort of bring you into what I'm saying about the Bronco. Now it also means that the 310 horsepower 2.7 liter twin turbo V6, which is paired to the 10 speed automatic transmission, as the manual is not available if you do Sasquatch. At least for now, they were told the outcry of automobile was a quick to complain might prompt a revisiting of this decision. So the people from Audible magazines could have complained about it. Now having spent plenty of time off road, the journalist was braced for the impacts as the Ford uh, driver pointed the Bronco toward a rough patch of rocks. So you can imagine that rocks and stones that plunged into the water hole. They were holding onto the grab bar to keep the spine relatively intact, but were surprised by the relatively minimal impact. What gives the off-road ready Bilston shocks for fit to the 2021 Bronco soften the road approach to the water hazard. Now the shocks hold more oil and take longer to heat up and also expel more heat than traditional shocks, the engineers explained. The model two dampers and their exterior reservoirs tolerate more extreme travel, improving damping performance and tough stuff. Or maybe the problem was <laughs> that everybody on the Bronco was busy grinning. Now the Bronco two door had been removed and they hit that water hole with enough force to create a spray. Now a few drops landed in the cabin will come on a hot Michigan summer day. Traction was not an issue on any of the simple trails. Steep hills were not as impediment going up and down and deeply rutted sand was just plain fun as the four wheel drive system and the rear differential lock automatically engage to power the Bronco through obstacles that initially appeared formidable. Crib from the Toyota Land Cruiser, a handy feature on the 2021 Bronco is a trail turn assist. Now what that uses is torque vectoring on the rear axle to decrease the SUV turning radius, applying braking to an inside rear wheel on the vehicle, which already has short overhangs, allows it to pivot in a tight spot on the trail. There were a couple of sharp angle turns where the feature showed its value. Not engaging it would have meant backing up at least once to make the turn. It was quite the contrast from a brief ride in the first generation Bronco on hand. For the day, a cool reminder of the days when your arms got a workout. Steering and brake pedal require a lot of force. 
Look at that backspace in this, baby. I mean, the gears you can put in the, in the back here. Well, it's not really that much big of a space, but hey, it's space. Now, back to the journalists. Unfortunately, the time the two-door 2021 Ford Bronco was very brief, but the trail showed off enough off-road capability to convince them that a showdown that there was going to be a showdown with the Jeep Wrangler and that it will be worth this weight and sooner or later stay tuned because the impressions are going to be here when Ford gets a closer to the sale date next spring so we know the base price on this Bronco is going to be $29,995 front engine four-wheel drive five passenger two or four-door SUVs it's gonna be awesome folks that was just a little bit of an experience in the Ford Bronco with a journalist from automobile magazine let's get a chance to just look at some of these beautiful jaw-dropping pictures and let's look at another experience in the Ford Bronco so basically these experiences in the Ford Bronco have been awesome and uh, that day a lot of journalists were driving and uh, they got a chance to go shotgun in a Bronco and the Bronco Sport. But what we're looking at today is how was it in the Bronco? Not the Bronco Sport, but just the Bronco period. And that was one experience with Automobile Magazine. Let's see how the experience was with Gear Patrol. So let's dig deep. Five things that they discovered while driving in the Ford Bronco. Now, they got the ride in the 2021 Ford Bronco and the Bronco Sport. And this was their preliminary thoughts. The Bronco seemed confident on the trail. The Ford drivers seemed happy to bomb the Bronco around the mildly challenging Michigan ORV trails. They went across sand, up and down the grades, and through water. The engineers that they rode with demonstrated the locking differentials, trail control, and trail turn assist features. Even though the Bronco could have been fine without them, we didn't do anything resembling serious rock crawling or seeing the manual transmission crawler gear in action. Now we know that many Bronco uh, owners will go off road with the doors off at least once. Now that up and air feeling is awesome in theory. But we don't know how pleasant that will be in practice. Now they're riding a Bronco with the doors on and no roof. <laughs> they still had to remove their sunglasses mid-ride. And <laughs> the glasses were left coated in a fine layer of dust. And to be fair, Ford had to offer the roof uh, mounted the roof Bronco 
just to offer the closed experience. So, a lot of people said the best advice is if you're going to experience one, experience it with the full doors. And that would mean something else. So, it's something else to think about. Um, that was one of the journalists' experience. You just have to be ready. And you know, pictures don't tell a whole story. So, the two door Bronco with the Sasquatch package in real life. The Sasquatch package started to feel like overkill, even trading into a bro truck territory. The standard steel off-road uh, capable tires of the, of the non-Sasquatch version looked far more proportion. If Ford was making us choose between the Sasquatch package and the manual, a lot of people would take the manual. So this is something to think about. But I, for one, personally, always like my stuff. Load it up. Cause loaded up is the way to go. Again, it's Zay Automotive Reviews. Let's look at some more pics. Boy, that blue Bronco looks sharp as hell. This is just some realistic parts, you know, of the Bronco. Just thinking about what to get, what experience you want, is a Sasquatch package worth it, it is something you should look at, but it should be definitely something you should test out. Again, thanks guys for coming. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for subscribing. I hope the music added some kind of enjoyment to this. Until then, enjoy. Enjoy the photos. Remember, like and subscribe.
If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe for more interesting videos.